How's it going fellow traders? It's Magic Trader here and this is the CFTC report for June 18, 2019. And so let's take a look at the data that we had for gold. So what do we see here? We see that over the last few weeks, the institutions have been piling on to their longs quite aggressively. And we know that the reason for this is because we have the higher time frames, forces in play, so price will want to remove supply on the lower time frames and cause a move to the upside. So we've recently just experienced this weekly area of supply removed. And um, we're expecting price to continue even higher. But the thing is, is that since we have long so aggressive right now, there could be some profit taking in the um, near future. So it'd be a good idea to to watch out for this because um, expecting some kind of a retracement before a bigger push to the upside. Long exposure is at 80% but not very aggressive so there's still room for it to continue higher. Total size is becoming aggressive so again profit taking is what is to be expected in the near future. Uh, then we have oil and what do we see with oil? Continued profit taking. So basically profit taking since uh, late April. Okay. And we've been expecting that. That's exactly what we were saying was going to take place up here was profit taking on long positions. So that's what took place. They took profits on longs causing long exposure to increase because of the drop here. But we have to ignore that big increase here because we're looking at basically from 138 to 139 a drop from 80 to 78 because of the drop from 538 to 502. So we've since received this rally which is what again we've been expecting because after the drop there's got to be some sort of a pullback in order to have price continue lower. So we're watching this for a trade signal and it may just happen very soon. US dollar, we see an increase in longs uh, from 36 to 40,000. That came as price was reacting from that weekly ascending trend line. We've since seen price revert to the downside. So as this took place, this rally, they did increase long exposure from 74% to 77% which put net positions up from 23,000 to 28,000. Next we have the Aussie, big increase in shorts as price was dropping down into the weekly area of demand. Very aggressive with the shorts, so we need to see some profit taking, which is going to propel price upwards. And we're starting to see an increase in longs, which could be in preparation for that move to the upside that we are expecting. Then we have the US CAD, price was reacting to the upside just as the dollar was and we see positions went from 58 to 57,000. This big discrepancy here 25 was because of contract expirations so basically we could just ignore that and take a look at the increase in shorts from 15 to 19 so that was in preparation for this big move that we received on the weekly chart. We have the US Swiss franc moving downwards with the dollar and massive decrease in long positions. So all the disclosure of long positions is what's causing this big drop. Yes, we see a slight increase in short positions here. And that was as price was rallying up towards that weekly momentum shift supply zone. So now pushing down. Bottom line is we saw that they were aggressive with their longs. Aggressive with total size. They needed to take profits and that's what happens when they take profits. Euro, an increase in longs from 149 to 162. That's a big increase and big decrease in shorts. Quite significant. Look, after so much of nothing, we finally got a big push to the upside with long exposure and a big decrease in net positions from negative 86 to 80, or so negative 52,000. We're seeing that the descending trend line is under attack. We could likely see a bigger push to the upside with what we're seeing on the data here. Now we have the pound. Longs did nothing. 
and slight decrease in shorts. We had a major decrease here, but that was because of contracts expiring. Uh, but we can see that the overall uh, move was um, lowering their short positions from 89,000 to 85,000, which puts uh, long exposure down 32 to 28, and also increases net positions from negative 47 to negative 52,000, expecting a push upwards to come. US dollar Japanese yen big decrease in longs as price continues lower so that was consolidating they lowered it and they also increase shorts which drops long exposure from 76 to 61 percent again they were overexposed to the long side here they need to take profits that's causing price to drop right now and uh, Kiwi dollar we have uh, closure of longs from 23 to 19,000 that came as price was dropping deep into the weekly demand zone and an increase in shorts so uh, very aggressive with shorts we could see a bigger rally in price as they close off for profits and that's basically what we are expecting from that pair okay so that's your June 18 2019 CFTC data analysis uh, hope yourself, have yourself a good one. Take care.